Hi everyone, welcome to online class 11. Uh, in this video, I am going to discuss few topics relating to tachometric surveying. In that, I am going to explain you the types of uh, tachometric surveying uh, methods and uh, I am going to explain the stadia method of tachometric surveying. We are going to derive the formula relating to that. Let's begin. So, first of all, uh, methods of tachometric surveying. There are three methods um, that are first one stadia method. Stadia method is actually divided into two categories that is fixed hair method and a mobile hair method. That mobile hair, uh, mobile hair method is also called as subtense method. So, fixed hair implies the hair, upper hair and lower hair in the diaphragm are going to be fixed. But in the mobile hair method, we can adjust the distance between the upper hair and lower hair also that is subtense method so the second method is the tangential method we will be going to find out the distance between points by taking only reading related to the middle crosshair and the other one is measurements by special instruments so this is the figure uh, which we have to we are to we have to discuss so these two triangles are uh, similar isosceles triangles so this triangle is relating to the uh, telescope and this triangle is the uh, the outside one okay imagining this uh, one is the levering staff this long this is the levering staff and this line is relating to the crosshairs okay so let's see the distance between the upper hair and lower crosshair is small i and uh, the so what you call lower crosshair is a dash and the middle crosshair is b dash and the upper crosshair is c dash just giving the name and uh, the center of uh, uh, the lens will be O, where will be the triangles will be meeting. And uh, this capital F is the focus, and X is the instrument center. And uh, U is the distance between the object glass and the leveling staff. And uh, D is the distance between the uh, instrument center to the object glass. Um, F is the focal length of the object glass. And uh, V is the distance between object glass and the crosshairs. And D is the distance between uh, instrument center to the leveling staff, which is the distance between the two points which we require, which uh, we have to derive. So just see, this, uh, these are A, B and C corresponding uh, readings. Okay, the upper power reading is S3, the lower reading is S1, the middle reading is S2. So capital S is the staff intercept, that is S3 minus S1. Okay, that is the staff intercept which is going to be forming the base to the perpendicular. Uh, one see this, um, I just told that in similar isosceles triangles, the base to the perpendicular is constant. What does it mean is, uh, in this figure, if you take B dash O by uh, a dash c dash is equal to b o by uh, a c so this is from this triangle and this is from this triangle so the ratio of uh, base to the perpendicular the base in the uh, this triangle is a dash c dash and the perpendicular is b dash o and in this triangle the base is AC and uh, the perpendicular is BO. So when we take the ratio, that ratio is going to be constant. By using that ratio, we will be able to find the distance between two points. Okay. So just understand uh, the terms here. V is uh, this is the uh, just pause the video and see all this. V is the distance between object glass and the crosshairs. F is the focal length of the object object glass. S is equal to staff intercept, which is upper crosshair reading minus lower crosshair reading. That is S three minus S one, also called a staff intercept. D is the distance between horizontal uh, horizontal distance from the instrument station to the staff station. That is the distance which uh, we have to be finding. Uh, small d is the distance between. Uh, horizontal uh, turnian axis and the object glass um, u is the distance between object glass and the staff i is the distance between two crosses that is upper and lower f is the focus and v is the vertical axis of the instrument or also called as instrument center okay next one uh, keep this as the reference here and we are going to do the derivation so in triangle a dash o c dash in triangle a dash o c dash means this triangle okay and uh, a o c this triangle so in those uh, these two triangles are similar isosceles triangles implies uh, the ratio of the base to the perpendicular is constant so let's see here that is uh, 
a dash c dash by b a dash c dash by b dash o is equal to a c by b o a dash c dash is the base b dash o is the perpendicular a c is the base and b o is the perpendicular so that ratio is going to be constant and that is going to be equal so now substitute the values correspondingly what we have taken a dash c dash is equal to i and uh, b dash o is the v and uh, a c is a s and uh, b o is u so solving v is equal to u by s that is let it be the equation number one okay now from the properties of lenses we know that one by v plus one by u is equal to one by f so that is the other principle we are going to taking we are going to take and let that equation be equation number two now substitute equation number one in equation number two and solve it so we are going to get uh, we are going to place u at a side and take everything on the other side so u is equal to s by i plus one hold uh, into multiplied by f let it be the equation number three but uh, from the figure <coughs> from the figure we know that d is equal to u plus t <coughs> from the figure we know that distance between the object uh, instrument center to the uh, instrument center to the uh, leveling staff is equal to d so that is d is equal to u plus small d but um, keep u at a side and uh, take other, take remaining on the other side so u is equal to capital d minus small d that is equal to equation number 4 so substitute this equation number 4 in equation number 3 so and solve it so that is going to give the distance between two points d is equal to f by i into s plus f plus d so the f by i and f plus d are the two constant the f by i is actually multiplying so that is called as multiplying constant and the f plus d is adding so that is going to call be in that is going to be called as uh, additive constant the multiplying constant f by i is actually um, uh, equal to 100 almost all equal to 100 and uh, the distance of uh, uh, f plus d is varying depending upon the type of focusing instrument so this above equation is going to be used when the distance between the two points is to be found when the line of sight is horizontal remember the d, uh, equation d is equal to f by i the last one d is equal to f by i into s plus f plus d is the equation which is going to be used when we have to find the distance when the line of sight distance between two points when the line of sight is horizontal okay and uh, there are going to be other formulas for the line of sight is inclined so by using the above equation distance between two points can be found out when the line of sight is horizontal so f by i is a multiplying constant or also called as a stadia interval factor is generally 100 and the f plus d is known as additive constant it is 30 to 60 centimeter for external focusing telescope and 10 to 20 centimeter for internal focusing telescope okay uh, for finding the elevation of a station uh, what we have to do is we have to add the rl of the benchmark plus height of the instrument minus s2 i have written as rl of instrument you have to take it as rl of the benchmark plus height of the instrument minus s2 s2 is the middle crosshair reading so by this we can also calculate the vertical differences and rls of the points also we can calculate horizontal and vertical distances so that's it thank you